<laughs> Good morning. Today we have a lot on the schedule, but I slept at a friend's house because we were heading out with a boat and filming more or less all day for an upcoming project. So I'm painting and we're filming and having a good time with a bunch of people. So I'm gonna take you with me on that because I think that would be cool. Maybe a little bit too many people on my taste, but. I'm sure I'll survive it. I'm pretty sure I can paint all day. <laughs> Time for coffee. Coffee! where nobody else is right now. Captain. I'm gonna find me some cool, cool spots. It's a pretty cool place. So this place is beautiful and I just found the competition that I want to do and it's this uh, this building in here so I'm literally just gonna set up and and, and go for it it's gonna be nice it must be that you exist bingo like that you're a point instant bong you know if you go and there's a film or auditorium and dance they've turned on the stroboscopic light
growing very rapidly, brilliant light, on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. And it seems that everybody is all the time going in and out of existence. See? <laughs> now, in a way, that's a kind of exemplification of the truth, that we are vibrations, and that everything does go on and off, on and off, on and off, all the time. So the only real thing is the moment of on, where you are now. Got it? Lost it. Got it? Lost it. Got it? Lost it. See? That's the only thing that's real. That's one pole. The other pole is the view that all these on and offs, just like the molecules in your hand, constitute a continuous reality. But if you follow that line, you've got to add up not to just what you are at this moment. You're going to add up to the whole universe through the entire span of its existence in space and time. Any middle position you take between these things is arbitrary. Say, okay, I'm going to be so much. I'm going to call myself this particular human being who lives for such and such a time. Okay, that's the way you want to play the game. That's the rules you've been told. And if you want to get attached to that and hung up on that, you're going to say that matters. And so you feel material. And the Buddhist idea is simply saying, don't get hung up on a, what is called in Sanskrit, drishti. Drishti means a view, a particular way of looking at things. You say, that's, uh, I'm looking at it from this point of view, this is the way it seems to me to be, and I'm going to stick to that. I'm going to get hung up on that. That is the meaning of attachment. So in, in Sanskrit, the word sakaya drishti means the view of separate view that the, the, the separation of a certain bundle of wiggles taken out of the total wiggliness of all that there is, is me. And another bundle of wiggles is very definitely you. And to get stuck on that, see, and therefore to start a fight about it, therefore to start crying and weeping and gnashing of teeth all about this thing being real, see. That is what these people are trying, all these Buddhist sages and Hindu sages, get people off that hangar and say, wake up, wake up, wake up. Don't you understand the whole thing's an illusion? Not that this is a word to put it down and say that it's uh, horrible or bad. If you could see that the whole thing is an illusion, you'd be happy as a lot and life would be lived much more joyously by everybody. We would uh, dance together and give things away and start, stop fighting. See, if we really saw it was an illusion, we'd all be happy in our big dream. But we are constantly saying to ourselves and we are saying to our children, it's real, God damn it, it's real, and death is gonna be awful, and sickness is gonna be horrible, you see, it's real, and you better watch out. See, you can say, people say to me, you can say as a philosopher, all this thing is and you can talk this way because you're sitting in a comfortable place, you've got plenty to eat. But you watch, when the thing hits you, you'll laugh the other side of your face. <laughs> well, I don't give a damn. When it happens, it'll happen, but it's not happening now. And what I'll do when it does happen is the sufficient unto the day is the trouble there. decided to put up some tents and then stay here for the night. It's gonna rain like crazy tonight, but we're gonna do it either way. And uh, yeah, just getting ready before the sun sets and all the rain starts pouring. But it's been nice. Um, managed to do one painting that was uh, I enjoyed quite a bit. Um, it was a lot of it was a nice, interesting building, like really interesting looking building. It had some different colors, like bricks, and there was a white chimney touching the sky. And there's a lot of backlit green bushes in there, and there's some water, and then there's some flowers. Way too much for one composition, probably, but I really enjoyed it. 
So we'll see what, what I'll do now. Probably front lit ocean because it gets so dark this time. Now it's a lot of wind as well. So algae and stuff is coming in. And uh, the water is looking like really deep, deep blue, purple. Like well, very dark, though, which is nice. But, yeah. because it's it's colorful but the amount of compression is just like yeah I have to do like 10 in order to get it so probably something I'm gonna do in another couple of videos just actually trying to get good sunsets now um, very good practice I think but yeah I think that's it for, for today we had a good day I painted mostly the other people socialized um, but it was very very nice either way very nice people to hang out with and I'm quite happy I actually made a couple of uh, paintings a lot of paintings so the rain is coming definitely um, it's gonna pour down like crazy uh, tonight but we're gonna be in the tents so I'm sure we'll be fine but yeah um, look at this mess look at that mess like look at those brushes horrible good morning there's no one to stay in nothing y'all uh, i've never been this street sleeping in a tent before with my converse shoes Cool face. My like goose buddies. Hello, buddies. The Remy buddy. They didn't break a sweat. <laughs> 